going to do awesome. I can't wait to hear about everybody's progress. I am coming on tonight to give you a demonstration of the warrior flow that I have created for our June warrior challenge. So for the first week, you're going to do one flow on each side of your body, the right side and the left side. And the second week, you're going to do two on each side, third week, three on each side and fourth week four on each side. So this is the challenge that I've come up with for June to help us stay uh, connected with our yoga practice throughout the warmer summer months when we're um, sometimes, um, you know, really busy outside and we're tempted to skip our practice. So now I'm going to time myself doing this on each side so I can let you know about how long it takes you to do just one uh, flow on each side. Um, we're going to do warrior one, two, three, and reverse warrior and humble warrior. We're also going to throw in a down dog, a plank, an up dog, as well as tree. So we're going to connect all those poses and come up with a really fun, challenging um, flow. And we're going to do it on a four count breath. So with each pose, we're going to hold it for four breaths, or we're going to move through it for four breaths. Can start now. All right. So. You're going to come to the top of your mat, stand in mountain, shoulders pulled down, strong foundation, feet are rooted, standing up nice and tall. Take an inhale and sweep the hands up, exhale, step the left foot back. Coming into your warrior one, maybe step the right foot over a little further, widening the stance to help you maintain your balance and your back foot is flat with your big toe pointed at an angle off the mat. Stand up nice and tall with the upper body lifting up and your arms reaching to the sky. That right knee is stacked over the right ankle and hold your shape here. Let's take four breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale, reach the hands up, and exhale. Prepare for Humble Warrior, inhale up, and exhale as you fold forward, sweeping your hands down to your side and lifting them up toward the ceiling, maintaining your balance. Keep a strong foundation through the heels and then inhale back up, lifting the upper body. Keep the core and the spine engaged. Reach up and exhale back down, number two. Inhale up for number three. Exhale. Last humble warrior. And inhale up, warrior one. As you exhale, open up to the left, coming into warrior two. So our front foot stays right where it is and our back foot is now Pivot it sideways, parallel to the back of your mat. Bring your arms up, shoulder level. Hold your shape here and take four breaths. Inhale. 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 And exhale. One more here. Let's 
prepare for reverse warrior. Inhale, right hand to the sky. Drop your left hand back or behind your back into a bind. And exhale, back to warrior. Looking out over your front hand. Check in with your arms, making sure that they don't drop down. Keep them shoulder level. And inhale for number two. Exhale, back to warrior two. Nice job. Two more reverse warriors. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Very good. From here, we're going to pivot up to high lunge, turning that back foot up on the toes and lifting the upper body up. Keeping the front leg right where it is. You don't need to move that. And lifting the arms up toward the ceiling. Holding your shape here, take four breaths. Very good. This time we're going to take four breaths and we're going to dip the left knee down towards the mat. It doesn't have to touch the floor. And then we're going to come back up with our inhale. Inhale, lift the hands to the sky. Exhale, dipping the left knee down. Very good. Inhale up. Exhale down for two. Inhale up. Exhale down for three. Very good. Inhale up. And exhale down for four. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Step the right foot back to the left foot, down dog. You can bend one knee and then the other. Coming into your down dog, find your stable foundation. Gaze toward the knees, gaze toward the navel. Let's take four breaths here. Inhale up on the tippy toes. Exhale down. Nice job. From here, we're going to step the hands forward, step the feet back, coming into a plank. Stack the shoulders over the wrists, hold your shape, and take four breaths. Nice job. On your next inhale, drop your hips towards the ground and lift your face and heart center to the sky for up dog. Exhale to plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale to plank. Two more. Last one. Lift your hips to the sky. Down dog. And walk your feet forward to the top of your mat. Inhale, hands to the sky. And exhale, pick up the upper body forward. Take your left foot back for Warrior three, hold your shape. Take four breaths. Mm -hmm. 
And when you're ready, lift up, upward salute. Exhale to tree, bring that left foot up above or below the ankle or knee joint. Holding your tree. Find your balance, lift your crown up, grow your branches. When you're ready, come down out of your tree. Nice job, shake it out, walk it off. Awesome work. All right, so that took us about nine minutes to do one side. So this is pretty much a 20 minute workout doing both sides. Coming to the top of your mat. Inhale, hands to the sky. And exhale, step the right foot back this time. Here, you can take a moment to step the left foot over, widening your stance a little, helping to keep a strong foundation and your balance. Inhale, hands to the sky for warrior one. Let's take four breaths. humble warrior inhale hands up exhale forward fold sweep the hands down to your side lift them up toward the ceiling behind you humble warrior one inhale back up lift up through the upper body hands reaching for the ceiling exhale warrior humble humble warrior <laughs> nice job let's do two more of these Take your time, no rush. And after your last one, we're gonna come back up to our warrior one with an inhale. And exhale, open up to warrior two. Leaving the front leg right where it is. Don't move that left foot. And just turn your right foot so it's parallel to the back of your mat. Your toes are pointing to the right. Nice job. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder level. And look out over your front fingers. Stay connected to breath here. Four inhales, four exhales. Let's prepare for reverse warrior. Inhale the left hand to the sky, drop your right hand back. And take it behind your back for bind. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, number two. Exhale. Two more, take your time, no rush. Excellent job, ask to your fourth one. We're preparing for our high lunge. Give it on that back foot, sweeping the hands up towards the ceiling as you pivot the whole body towards the left foot. Inhale the hands up, hold your shape and take four breaths here. You too, you can step that back foot in a little. Remember, you can always modify your positions. Take your time, don't feel rushed. And after your fourth breath, 
we're going to prepare to dip the right leg down four times and up with an inhale. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, dip it down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Two more. Last one, we're going to come back up with an inhale to exhale, fold forward, step the left foot back, coming into your down dog, bend one knee, then the other. Let's come into down dog position, gaze toward the navel or knees, take four breaths high up on the tippy toes with your inhale. Exhale down, one, two, three, four, nice job. Walk the hands forward, coming into your plank. Maybe step the feet back slightly, shoulders stacked over the wrists, palms planted. Four breaths here. Excellent job. Nice work, everyone. With your next inhale, dip your hips toward the ground, lift your face and heart center to the ceiling, pressing through the palms into the shoulders as you look up, up dog, exhale to plank. Let's do three more of those for a total of four. And after your last one, lift your hips to the sky, down dog, nice job. From here, we're gonna walk it forward, nice and slow, the top of your mat. Inhale, hands to the sky, upward salute. Now I'm gonna step back just for space. The wall's right in front of me. Inhale, hands to the sky. And as you exhale, Pivot the upper body forward, coming into warrior three. Hold your shape. Take four breaths. Your fourth breath, lift up nice and slow. Stay in control, stay balanced. And then bring your right leg up below or above the ankle or knee joint. Take your tree pose. Hold your shape, stay connected to breath. Maybe look for a drisky on the wall, a gazing point really helps you hold your balance. I'm going to turn and face you just so I can show you what the tree looks like when you are coming into it. So as we come up out of our warrior three, we're lifting all the way up. Then we're going to exhale, bringing the leg up, holding your shape, stay connected to your breath. Row your branches out, up. You can bring your hands to heart center as well. And then come down out of your tree after you take those last four breaths. 
And that, my friends, is the June Yoga Warrior Challenge. And it's just under 20 minutes, according to my stopwatch. So you can do that challenge, what I just demonstrated to you once every day for the first week of June. Take you about 20 minutes, a little less, and it's an excellent workout. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me by email or text. I think pretty much everybody has my information. You can also find it on Me Wellness Center at um, Instagram and on Facebook. I hope you all enjoy this challenge and um, try to get those uh, warriors in. And I will see you soon in our Zoom yoga practices. Bye, everyone.